An eventful morning in Greenville today. A man faces kidnapping charges after being accused of hijacking a delivery truck. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken Watlington. And I'm Angie Casada. Thanks for joining us. New details tonight involving the carjacking of a FedEx truck in Greenville today. It's a story we first brought you on your noon news. It happened around 1030 this morning near the intersection of South Memorial Drive and Stantonsburg Road. The driver crashed into an SUV heading in the wrong direction on Memorial Drive before crashing into a building. The incident sent three people, including the man who stole the truck, to the hospital. Now to your science, Emily Severich joins us live from where that crash happened in Emily, what can you tell us tonight? Yeah, Ken and Angie, you can see where that crash ended up right behind me. Police say that a delivery had just been completed when the FedEx driver was stopped in traffic and a man tried to jump into his vehicle. Luckily, the FedEx driver was able to get out of the truck before the man sped off with his delivery truck. Officials say he drove the truck across the median, drove down the wrong side on Memorial Drive, hitting an SUV with a mother and her nine-year-old child inside. He then went off the highway, and that's when he slammed into the warehouse. He then left the truck, running back to the SUV he hit, and began trying to take the child out of the back seat. Luckily, he was stopped in time. And attempted to get the child out of the vehicle. He was attempting to assault the child and get him out of the vehicle at the time. That's when officers arrived. Fortunately, a good Samaritan did jump in and help defend that young child before officers arrived. The man was arrested without further incident. The woman and child who were hit, as well as the man who stole the truck, were all taken to Vidant Medical Center for non-life-threatening injuries. Now, GPD has released the information on this suspect. The suspect is identified as 31-year-old Daquan Boone from Greenville. He is being psychologically evaluated at Vidant, and once he's released, charges will be brought against him. Some of those charges do include driving while impaired and second-degree kidnapping. You can stay with us online and on air at WNCT for all the latest. In Greenville, I'm Emily Severage, 9 on your side. Emily, thank you. And you can